Good morning, friends in St. Augustine. It's a great and beautiful day. God will bless and surprise us today. As one community united in God's love, He is inviting us to set our hearts aflame. Let us make the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent. Looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart, Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection I wonder what it was like for Jesus to be watched at all times by the Pharisees, to be scrutinized and judged by the people around him. Despite the fact that Jesus was God, he was also completely human. And as a human being, he must have been concerned and afraid of what might lie ahead. However, Jesus did not waver and let fear keep him from reaching out and helping the people. He refused to stop serving and tending to those in need. He continued to publicly preach his message. In this light, if you were in this type of situation, would you still have the courage to be faithful in carrying out your mission? Let us ponder and reflect on this question. Let us now pray the prayer to Our Lady of Good Counsel. God of heavenly wisdom, you have given us Mary, Mother of Jesus, to be our guide and counselor. Grant that we may always seek her motherly help in this life and so enjoy her blessed presence in the life to come. May the Holy Spirit fill us with reverence for God's creation and compassion for all God's children. May our labors of love on earth enhance the reign of God, and may God's gifts of faith and living hope prepare us for the fullness of the world to come. Amen. Our Mother of Good Counsel, Saint Monica, Saint Augustine, Lord, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.